And so the legend of Abaya and the golem comes to an end, the father or mother would declare. Undoubtedly, the children would ask their parents what happened next. The parents would say that Abaya would go on to be the high priest of all the Ashkenazi, and the golem would be recovered by his brothers and taken back to the stars. Of course, there was so much more to it than that. Faneuil had been gravely injured by a demon weapon. His body and soul were severely wounded. Despite immense pain and suffering, Abaya was eventually able to treat the spiritual wounds of Fanuel. The physical wounds were much more complicated. Despite the technical knowledge and skills the golem had taught to the people, they were nowhere near capable of repairing the extensive damage to Fanuel's systems. His breathing slowed, as did his heart rate. Both of them were often beating irregularly. They were lucky the blade had missed these vital components. But Fanuel's digestive augments were severely damaged, and he could not extract nutrition nearly as well anymore. Under Fanuel's direction, Abaya was able to keep the Space Marine alive with rudimentary repairs and careful preparation of his meals. Fanuel was also very limited in his ability to move. He could walk slowly but his arms were too damaged to function properly. It was a long and frustrating process. But he lived. The consequences of the battle against the Phrygians were long-lasting. Many of the heretics escaped and became mountain bandits or seized ships to live once more as murderous pirates. Minor cults to the Dark One persisted, but one by one they were purged over the years. The men who had seen what happened in the tower did not speak of it often, but Abaya wrote a full account of the true events, and they would be taught to his successor when he became too old to serve as high priest. Abaya also tended to the spiritual needs of all who fought that day. Those who saw the cruelties of the Phrygians often were haunted by cruel images the bodies wrapped in the sails, the horrid condition of a tortured and mutilated slave, a thousand images that refused to fade away in memories of the ones who witnessed them. Difficult though it was, the Ashkenazi and the Temerine recovered. With al-Rashid's death, war was to be expected. But Abaya helped ease the usual period of warfare after the death of a uniting chieftain, by returning the body of al-Rashid to his people and joining their imam's prayer to the emperor to guide his spirit to its final resting place by his side. The Temerine and Ashkenazi remained on peaceful terms. There were still skirmishes and jockeying to be the next ruler amongst the Temerine, but the immense bloodshed was avoided. Fanuel continued to provide wisdom and guidance to help the people of the planet advance, more and more artisans and all manner of skilled persons flocked to him to learn how to improve their own towns and cities back home. Many settled in the Ashkenazi lands, and eventually a great city grew up around Fanuel, called Il Golem. The Golem pushed them hard, hoping to develop methods of transmission, so that he would eventually be found by his brothers. It took many years. Twenty-four of them, in fact. Eventually, they managed to hail an Imperial vessel on patrol. There were a few confusing static exchanges, followed by months of sorting out the situation. Then there were another few months of bureaucratic nonsense before the Iron Hands were actually informed of what had happened, and they made their way to retrieve their brother. After many years of waiting, the day eventually came. Fanuel would return home. By this point, many of Fanuel's components had failed and had to be replaced by what limited technology the Ashkenazi possessed. The oxygen in his blood was low. He was frequently tired. He had to be fed a liquid nutrient-rich broth in order to digest it properly. His arms were still inoperable, 
but he added a kind of cane to them in order for the space marine to keep his balance. He had to live with a dozen more inconveniences and frustrations. But he lived. Fanuel stood next to Abaya as the massive battle barge began its landing protocols. This was not only a day to celebrate the golem's return to the stars, but it was a day to celebrate reunification with the Imperium. Children ran in the streets, banners and Imperial iconography were everywhere. Reminds me of your first day planetside. Everyone wanted to celebrate, and you shut the whole thing down. It was a different time. There was work to be done. There will be work to be done when you have to leave, too. I know. My work only ends in death. And even then, I pray I may yet serve. But still, there's more to it. There is joy in your heart on this day. A great evil was defeated. This planet has been purged of heretics. I will return to my brothers, and a planet is rejoining the Imperial Fold. Why shouldn't I celebrate? That seems like a bit of a change from when I first met you. I will admit, a man may change over time. Even a space marine. Hmm. <laughs> Do you still believe that the flesh is weak? I trust in the strength of steel. But become aware that it is sadly not self-repairing. I will contemplate the potential advantages to having at least some organic systems. The landing ramp struck the ground, and a tremendous cheer went up from the crowd. The cheers slowly quieted to a reverent awe as the space marines emerged with their shining armor and sleek augmetics. Fanuel, who had been more than a hero to them, looked distinctly sad and shabby standing opposite them. Well, it's time for you to go. Yes. Yes, it is. Time for us both to enter new chapters of our lives. Farewell, Golem. Farewell, Rabbi. No man do they call me. My mother and my father, and all my comrades as well. Thank you all for listening to this, the final episode of my Heart of Iron series. I hope you enjoyed what you heard. If you did, please leave a like and a comment, and perhaps subscribe, so that one day you may spend a quarter of a century as a cripple before reuniting with your fellow super soldiers who can finally restore you to proper function. If you would like to support me, you can find my Patreon, my PayPal, and my Teespring in the description. And if you stumbled across this video without any context of the series, you can start from the beginning by clicking on the playlist, which should be appearing on screen right now. Thank you all once again for listening. No Man Out.